Hey, what is up guys? It's Nine back again with a brand new video and today's video is really a follow-up to my complete Valorant settings guide which went over pretty much all the in-game settings you need to have Valorant running at maximum performance and gaining the most FPS. Now that in combination with today's video which is how to easily optimize your PC you will definitely be getting the maximum performance you can get in Valorant and really any competitive game you want to be playing. So definitely this guide won't be too technical, won't be too detailed but I just wanted to get out something that you can easily do very quickly within a couple of minutes to set up your PC to get that maximum performance. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, and now starting out here on my desktop, sorry it's a bit of a mess, let me just quickly clean that up. Okay, and we're good to go. And now the first thing I want you to do is to go into your settings, go into gaming, go into graphic settings and you're going to want to turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now, as it says here, it reduces latency and improves performance. You'll need to restart your PC afterwards, but that's no big deal. You definitely want to have that on. And now here we see another option that says graphics performance preference. And it says here, choose between better performance or better battery life when using an app. You might need to restart the app for your changes to take effect. Now to do this for Valorant, you'll need to find your Valorant game file in your PC. So you go to browse and for me, I, it's already here, but let me just show you the path. So for me, Valorant is on my SSD. I'll go into my Riot Games folder, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and Valorant Win64 Shipping Application. I'm going to add that and then I'll click on the options and I will set this to high performance. For my laptop users, this can make a huge difference, especially if you play on a laptop with integrated graphics and a dedicated graphics card. You might be playing Valorant um, by accident on the integrated graphics, so you definitely want to be using this setting so that you can use that dedicated GPU and get the highest performance possible. But even for my PC users, this is still definitely something you want to be turning on to high performance, and we're just gonna click save right there. And that's it for our settings. All right, now we're back on the desktop. Now this next section is going to be for my NVIDIA users. We're going to adjust some settings in the NVIDIA control panel. Now to access that, what you wanna do is right click on your desktop, go to NVIDIA control panel, click on it, give it a second to pop up. What we're going to go to first is manage treaty settings. Under global settings, we're gonna change a couple of things here. Now, for the most part, the settings here don't necessarily matter too much because a lot of them are going to be application controlled. So basically, they will be overwritten by what settings you have in game in Valorant. So if you have a certain anti-aliasing setting here, it won't matter because whatever anti-aliasing setting you have in Valorant will override what you have here. But there are a couple of things here that you do want to adjust. And the first thing is going to be CUDA GPUs. You're going to want to have that on all for sure. Low latency mode. You're going to want to have that on on or ultra. I'm going to put it on ultra here. And if we keep going down, we go to power management mode. You definitely want to have that on maximum performance so that your GPU will always keep the highest clock frequency even when the game isn't demanding. We're going to go down to texture filtering quality. We're going to keep that on high performance. We're going to keep going down and virtual reality pre-rendered frames. You're just going to keep that on one and then you're going to apply those settings. And now after that, we're going to go into configure surround and phys X and under phys X settings processor, you're going to want to select your GPU here and then click apply afterwards. And then after that, we're going to go into adjust desktop size and position. And right here, you're just going to make sure that you have the highest refresh rate possible for you. Now for me, since I use a 144 Hertz monitor, I use 144 Hertz refresh right here. If that's 60 for you, keep it at 60. If that's 240 for you, keep that at 240. A lot of people spend a lot of money on these high frame rate monitors, but they don't even realize that they don't have that activated. So this is just a little fail safe to make sure that you have all of that activated. All right, now that was for my NVIDIA users, but I haven't forgotten about you, my AMD and Radeon users. So for your AMD settings, what you're gonna wanna do is right click on your desktop and select AMD Radeon software. In the Radeon software, click the gear icon in the upper right and select the graphics tab. Click into advanced 
and you want to configure the following settings. So frame rate target control, you want to set that to your monitor's maximum frequency. So for example, for me, that would be 144. Anti-aliasing, you would want to have as use application settings. Anti-aliasing method, multi-sampling morphological anti-aliasing uh, almost messed that one up you want to have that on disabled anisotropic filtering use application settings texture filtering quality you want to have that on performance surface format optimization enabled uh, tessellation mode amd optimized open gpl triple buffering disabled and that's for my amd users all right, and next we want to check the compatibility settings for Valorant. So right here, you can just right click on your Valorant icon on your desktop, go to properties, go to compatibility. And what you're going to want to do is disable full screen optimizations and run this program as an administrator. You're going to want to hit apply and OK. OK, and now for the last thing, we definitely want to jump into our PC's control panel. So I already have mine here on the taskbar. I'll click on that. I'll go to hardware and sound, I'll go to power options. Now to have the best performance possible, you're definitely gonna use whatever is your high performance setting. For me, because I use a Ryzen CPU, it says AMD Ryzen high performance. If you use Intel, it might say Intel high performance or just high performance. So to get your best performance, you definitely wanna use the high performance setting. I personally have mine on balance. Um, I don't find it to be any sort of issue, but if you really need all the frames and all the power you can get, you want to be turning on that high performance. Now, be careful because this will basically have your CPU running at the highest performance possible, which basically means just running at the highest clock speed possible, which will definitely generate a lot more heat than if you keep it on balance. So once again, if you're on a laptop, just be a little bit cautious and careful with this. You might start to really feel that heat. So something to just keep in mind when you're messing around with these settings. But if you don't want it, if you want to have higher performance but not on high performance, then you can use something like balance and then you can go into change plan settings, change advanced power settings, and then you could adjust it a little bit here. So that instead of your maximum processors, processor state being 100%, you could lower that to something like 95, 90%. That way you're still getting good performance, but it will generate significantly less heat. So definitely something you can also do. All right, guys, and that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I hope you were able to understand everything and quickly optimize your PC so that you can get the best performance possible in Valorant and really any game you have on your computer. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And you, if you haven't already, please be sure to check out my complete Valorant settings video. I'm sure you can find some useful information and you're going to go like it. It's going to be on the left hand side of your screen. So please, once again, be sure to go check that out. And that's all for me guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.